Hello, film buffs. I like you, Shang-Kui. Are you excite? I excite. Straight Shooter here, coming at you from Team Sound Studios, as always. Review three of three on this Halloween day of 2020. And my spoiler red band review, because of course it's a red band review. This character could not be anything other than red band. Will be of Borat, subsequent movie film. And that's the most that I'm going to say of the long ass title that it actually has. <laughs> the movie, of course, again, stars Sasha Baron Cohen as Borat. Uh, there are some other surprises and cameos in the movie. Uh, and then you have this breakout uh, actress that plays his daughter. The formula is basically the same, but he's progressed a little bit. The plot of the film is a little bit meta because... He made the first movie and he shamed Kazakhstan. So they want to exile him. They want to punish him. And he ends up saying, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go back to America. And I'm going to report on, you know, what's going on politically there. Because it has to do with what's happening with, you know, the election coming up this year. By the way, the election is Tuesday. So I hope you voted or will vote. Uh, I voted by mail, but hopefully you guys are registered and have voted or will vote on Tuesday. Um, if not, it's your choice, but me, I decided it was important. So he goes to America, and in typical Borat fashion, he meets a bunch of different people. He's still funny. You know, the film is still funny. You know, I don't know. Okay, it may not be as funny as the first Borat film, but you gotta remember, like, the first Borat film was new. The character was new. The situations were new. You see it now, and you're like, okay, I expect that. Or maybe, you know, this this was, you know, not out of character or not too shocking. Maybe after the first Borat, uh, people are desensitized to the idea. But there's still some very funny moments. And there's this one moment in particular uh, at the end, which I'll talk about. And, you know, after I finish uh, explaining what ha what's happening in the movie. Okay, Borat has a daughter. When he leaves for America, she wants to go with him. But he says, no, no, no. And he tricks her and thinks, you know, and leaves her behind. But she follows him. He's realizing that his daughter is something special. And he grows to love her and decides, okay, he's going to he's gonna give her to, to a powerful politician. And they'll own her and treat her like, you know, you know, they'll have money, they'll take care of her, and that's how he can be a proud parent. She gets a makeover, and the end of the movie is she meets uh, Rudy Giuliani. And there's a lot of controversy about, like, what really happened. Like, if, you know, Giuliani knew what was happening or what was going to happen, and... You know, watching the movie objectively, you know, and I see this, you know, like I'm not, you know, a big fan of Rudy, Rudy Giuliani. I know who he is. Let's just say I'm not for him and I'm not against him per se. I just know who he is and he might as, and to me, he's just like whatever. But to me, when I was watching the movie, it didn't seem like, you know, it was a genuine surprise to him what was happening. Because the idea was she would interview him as a journalist and she, and she would flirt with him and he would accept her and take her, you know, and own her and stuff like that. And when, and when, and when the interview scene was happening, he was a little too quick to say, okay, yeah, you know, let's let's go off to a hotel room or you're really cute or something like that. Even though she was supposed to be playing 15. I'm not sure how old the actress is, but, you know, in the movie she was playing a 15-year-old. And then they show the scene in the hotel room, you know, and they're talking and laughing. And I don't know. It just seemed like things happened to a beat. I have my doubts about whether he would act the way he acted 
you know, knowing that he was on camera because obviously he was on camera because he was doing an interview. And there's controversy, like there's, you know, there's an investigation right now about him soliciting a minor and stuff. I don't know that I really believe that he didn't know or wasn't coached about what was happening. Apparently, Sasha Baron Cohen has come out and said that everything you see is genuine. But as, a, as an impartial observer, I didn't really see that. I kind of saw, like, Giuliani, Giuliani being coached beforehand. You know, like, he knew what was going to happen, and he knew the situation and stuff like that. But maybe I could be wrong. Who knows? But it just didn't seem that way to me. But in any case, um, I'm getting off track. Reviewing the movie, I enjoyed the movie. It was fun. It was good. It was hilarious as usual, as Sasha Baron Cohen usually is. Um, I wouldn't put it up there with the first Borat, but it's still very worth watching, especially if you love the first Borat. Put it this way, it's better than a lot of movies that have come out this year, which isn't saying much, but still. Um, when it premiered on Amazon Prime, it was getting like millions of views over the weekend. Obviously, the movie's a success. Uh, I know you can't gauge that success by box office numbers because it wasn't released in theaters, but <laughs> um, I enjoyed it, uh, and I'm going to give the movie a B-, minus, only because the first, first Borat, to me, is about B+, plus A- minus material. And like I said, I didn't think it quite measured up to the first one. But definitely go see it, or stay home and see it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, so that's three for today. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend, a happy Halloween, and I hope to see you again soon. The state of the movies is, you know, pretty pathetic right now. There's not much coming out. I don't think there's anything really new that looks interesting to be coming out before December. If that stuff comes out, there's two movies in December that I'm hoping to see. Uh, but in any case, this is Straight Shooter signing off for today. See ya. Kazakhstan is number one exporter of potassium. Other Central Asian countries have inferior potassium. Kazakhstan is the greatest country in the world.